Hey boys and girls, it's the Cheap Bastard coming at you once again live from Montreal QC. And today we want to talk about warm feet because winter's coming. And last winter my feet got cold. And I like cold feet, even with warm shoes like those. Nice sorrels, Patagonias. Patagonias have wool insulated uh, inserts. The sorrels have, uh, I don't know what they call that stuff, uh, felt, but my feet still got cold. So uh, recently I stumbled across a site on uh, YouTube uh, channels, what's the guy's name, uh, Bike Tom 666 the Antichrist from some backwater in the UK, had an idea about putting inserts in the soles of your shoes. So I'm lifting this idea from him. Mine's Slightly different, but the the general idea is pretty much the same. I'm going to backtrack for just a minute uh, because uh, a few months back I uh, bought a uh, what do you call it sun uh, sunscreen from the dollar store and made a pot cozy for my uh, cheapo coffee can uh, Billy can. And uh, this stuff is. Two millimeters thick, it's polyethylene foam with a mylar reflective uh, material glued on the front. I put duct tape on this one just to uh, give it some more durability, but I had a lot of material left over. And so I was reluctant to throw it away. I didn't know what to do with it until I saw Bike Tom 666 and his site. And this is the material that I have left over. And from this material, we're going to make some inserts to go in these boots to keep my feet warm. And we'll see how that goes here in just a jiffy. So the principle is pretty simple. What we want to do first is uh, grab a shoe and uh, yank out the insert. These Patagonias, they have really nice, this is wool insert, but my foot still gets bloody cold and there's some foam on the backside too. So we'll take that out and uh, same with the other insole. I have to do that right now. These boots, same thing, just yank the yank the liner out. And that's going to be our pattern. Get this out of the way. So this Reflectix, I call it Reflectix, it's really not. It's just a cheap imitation, but it, it is an insulator and Reflectix is an insulator, so I'm just going to use that term generically. So I just flipped it over, and I've already drawn the lines. Uh, this is the uh, right foot, but since I'm drawing on the back side, I'm labeling it the left foot. All right? You just draw it. Same with the uh, the other shoe. This one I've labeled the right foot, All right? But it's actually the left because we're going to turn this, and this will be face up inside your shoe and the insoles will rest on top of that. So if you lay your hand on here, I mean I can feel the reflective heat coming off just from my hand. So the idea is that it'll reflect the heat from uh, the heat from your feet. Woo! It almost rhymes to keep your feet warm. So having done that, uh, the next thing to do is simply grab a pair of scissors, cut them out, slip them inside your shoe slash boot and put the insoles in over top. So we'll come right back. My God, it just occurred to me that perhaps many of you have never experienced the, the joy, the ecstasy of watching paint dry. So now's your chance. We'll, we'll have that experience together. Watch and be amazed as I cut this out with a pair of scissors. Oh, and you will need one other tool, and that is a marker. In this case, I've used a Sharpie, but you could use a crayon or a pencil or any magic marker that you might have at hand. Now, hang on, here goes. Ready? It's just... Oh, look at that. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Look at the way it cuts. Look, notice how I follow the line, huh? Uh-oh, but it's gonna get tricky up here because there's lines all over the place. Oh, 
Well, we'll just have to rough it, see what happens. It's that make-do pioneer spirit. Yes, yeah, sirree, Bob. That's what I like about this uh, DIY, do-it-yourself, uh, home craft, bush craft, whatever craft, hovercraft, spacecraft, whatever we, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, can you feel it? Talk to me. Jesus, Joseph, and Mary. Look at that. Oh, God, it's perfect. All right. So, obviously, I've labeled these so I know what goes where. I have two pairs of shoes. I have a pair of Patagonias, and I have a pair of Sorrel boots. So, this boot, this, uh, this uh, insole goes in the left boot of the Sorrel. This goes in the right boot of the Sorrel. But wait, you're saying, that's the left foot. No. That's what I was saying earlier. You gotta turn them around because this is actually the way they go in the boots so the heat reflects up to your feet and this little piece of polyurethane foam acts as an insulator below your foot very nice same thing with the uh, with the uh, Patagonias huh? obviously that is not the left no that is the right so they go in the shoes like that right? So we'll come back in a minute and uh, see if we can't get these buggers to fit in the shoes. Stay tuned. Okay, so the the new insoles have been uh, inserted into the uh, sorrel boots. Maybe you can see them, maybe you cannot. They're there, trust me. And I have one in the uh, Patagonia left foot. Last is the right foot Patagonia and uh, it's just a matter of sliding it in, just like that. And then we'll take the insoles and slide them in right over top. In there. And one more, just like that. And these boots are a little more tricky. I got to put the uh, these big felt jobs on my feet and then slide them on, but the principle's the same. There you go. Save your old material because you never know what you can use it for. And here, as an example, I have this big piece left over. Already I know I'm going to use some of this for mitten liners in my mittens. I got just enough. I can do two mittens easy. Eh? So I'm not going to throw that away. That's still good. You betcha. That's it. Cheers, gang. Thanks for watching.